You have uh, probably one of my favorite builds here. <laughs> Thanks, it's just man. something that's super non-traditional. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Plus, it's pink. Yeah. Or magenta. Magenta, uh, the ruby stone, we, or we got the paint for the ruby star pink, or ruby star red, they call it. And uh, yeah, we try to put it together. So uh, what, what was your idea behind building something like this? Uh, honestly, we just wanted to do something different. We actually, found a good deal for a couple of shells and we got them and I had a running car and we do all our composites in house so we decided to build the whole thing all the bumpers fenders uh -huh. and so it didn't have a motor in it or anything nothing. we had it as a bare complete bare shell we did the doors the doors not original the trunk the roof we just molded off the stock car and we made our own thing wait so this was a 4s so no this was a normal 997s Oh, okay. As stock, S. Yeah, as God. a shell. But it had no subframes, nothing. We got the subframes uh, front and rear, like uh, from the scrapyard, then we did our own control arms, hubs, axles, everything. So, what motor is this in? So, it? so that's cool. That's still electric. It's still electric because we didn't want to put a push button. And so, oh. about the motor. Uh, yeah, so we put yeah. the LS and it's still running the stock Porsche engine mount location. There's these guys in the States, they're called Renegade Hybrids. Uh -huh. They helped me out with the motor mounts and I'm actually running stock GM ECU. <laughs> <laughs> stock GM ECU. Yeah, yeah. So what is this out of, like a Corvette? Yeah, we, it's a LS3. We just built pistons, connecting rods, and we, put the, we built the engine and heads, valves and everything, and we put it in the car. We down-tuned it. As much as we can, we at 450. There's no timing whatsoever because it's still a stock gearbox, Porsche box. Because it was too pink, we did this light bar. These are the brake lights, mm -hmm. so it's actually inside the the brake lights run. Got it. And yeah, similar to what you have on your 86. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. this one light yeah, bar. One light bar inside. So yeah. then. Um, you actually, unfortunately, had some issues with this because yeah. of the clutch. Yes. You took it out for a run, um, but uh, you destroyed the clutch. Yes. So my, we're my unable mistake. to see it run more. You can start it, but it won't move because it was my mistake. Because it's still running a Porsche box. I'm running a GT3 linkage, so it must have been gone loose or something. And I, I should have just adjusted it. I sent it and we fried the clutch. But it is That's a is. bummer, but <laughs> I, I'm sure you'll fix it soon. Yeah. But what's interesting to me is it's still plated for well, the UAE. Yeah, huh? it's, it's not road legal. We had to plate it to put it on an airplane because we wanted to make a show in, in Poland and to put it on an airplane, we had to have plates on it. Got it, yeah. got it, got it. It's cool though that <laughs> yeah, it still yeah. has a UAE yeah, plate. Yeah. So tell me about the kit. So this is an old New Japan kit. I had another car. We took it off that car. We, that was a stock street car and we put it on this. At the same time, we made our doors, our roofs, our trunk. So we made the whole thing. So what we did with the dash, I did a mold off a of stock dash. And with the newer dashes, you can put a CNC stitched dash, color coded to the body color. We made a mold off of the door and we made a mold uh, for the hood, bumper, roof. It's all carbon. All carbon. Yeah. That is so cool. So that's actually what you guys do. What is the company called? So it's Store 17. We're uh -huh. just a bunch of guys. That's my logo. It's not a commercial space. I do my own cars. But we started developing parts like handbrake, the pedal box. We're doing a fuel system. These are all prototypes. But um, That's the logo. Yeah, that's the logo. Oh, that is so cool. So we're thinking of going commercial on some of the stuff. So you actually created a lot of this stuff just for yourself, yeah, just for your own cars? Most of my cars are like that. I like the build process. So we do everything in-house, and then lately there's a lot of interest. We might go commercial on it. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, there's really not that many Porsche drift yeah, cars yeah. It's not at even all. for Porsches. Like, we got, I did the S chassis. A lot of guys want the S chassis stuff. S chassis, BMW, Corvette. So I might, I'm still, this is like, it's all initial stages. So we'll yeah. see. I love it. So this was actually 
uh, original UAE delivery yes, car yes, uh, that you didn't import it. No, no, no. We found it. Uh, so we found this one and another one. We found a few in the scrapyard because back home you're not allowed to sell a full shell after the scrap. They start chopping them. And this wasn't cut yet. I was like, oh, no, no, let me just take the whole thing and I'll do the rest. So that's how I was lucky. It's not like I got them very cheap as a bare, bare shell. It's really, <laughs> really clean. Thank um, you. Like the, the one that I think of when I think of Porsche drift cars is what, what Tyler McCory yeah. drove way the back when yeah. in uh, 993 GT2. Yeah, the uh, That it was super cool to see compete in Formula Drift. Yeah. So this kind of gives me a little bit Mystic, of that vibe. Yeah. I honestly, that that's like, a, it's a hero car, to be honest with you. And I don't know how we, we had to add a lot of weight in the front. Yeah. And Can we take a look yeah, at that? Yeah, yeah. This is all carbon. Yeah. This whole thing. So th it's, it's so light. Yeah, yeah. This is, so it's a mix. So this is pure carbon. This is fiberglass. Some pieces we did some, like this is pure. You can see it's vacuum and everything. Yeah. But this is not, this is just for the finish. We did the hood as a normal fiberglass. Well, so it's interesting. This is normally the front area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you actually put the cooling system. In. Yeah, and it works. There's, and I didn't have to cut anything. It's the stock sills. We opened it up and all the go air goes in from underneath. So traditionally with this kit, yeah. the stock radiators could yeah. still work on yeah. the side. But the problem is on lock, you're gonna hit them, especially God. with the amount of caster. I think the bumper is off for, oh, it's bolted here. But the weights are right here. You can see some of, it's dumbbells. It's <laughs> yeah, it's literal dumbbells. How much weight did you have to put up front? Uh, 70 kilos, which is around 150 pounds. Everything had to go after the wheel, because we do have weight before it. But it, was, it wasn't having it. We had to put these stickers because just in case they x-ray it for yeah. the airplane, right. there's literally bags of, le bags of lead in the chassis. It's like 60, 40 almost now. With, it, it works, but it's not. I mean, when we first, at 70, 30, we couldn't steer it. We couldn't even take out the jack. So how does this drive compared to the 86? As it is, in my opinion, it drives like a stock Z, 350. It drives like a Z, that's all I can see. So then how did you get the angle out of the front? How is it possible that it can have so much angle? Yeah, we did our own hubs. We started off with a, cause it's a McPherson stock. Uh, and we got a McPherson hub from my stop, which is steel. We chopped the whole thing and made the whole thing work again. It's running GT3 arms. Uh, I'm running 370Z axles on it. And that's why we modified the rear hubs. I see a lot of, uh, a lot of guys abuse these axles and they work. So we're running 370Z axles, and we modified both hubs, and it's worked. It, it looks so good. <laughs> Thanks, I love man. it so much. I appreciate it. I man. can't wait to see it running. I hope, I hope, maybe towards the end, if we like, because there's traffic, I can't drive it in and out. If we do, you have to jump in. It's it's because you're pivoting in the middle. You could, the experience is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy saw it. Some of the guys when we were out drifting, they were door on door. It was so much fun. That's so cool. <laughs> I love it. Now let's check out your race car, let's go. your A86. Let's go. This is built by my good yeah. friend, Darren McNamara. Yeah, AKA Vanilla Ice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Darren and I go way back. He built my FC. We flew him down in Abu Dhabi back in the day, 10 years ago or so. And he built me an S13. So uh, I know Darren since FD days. So we had this pre-COVID plan to do a full season of something in Europe, either BDC when they were still around or Irish Drift Championship, something. That was right before COVID. COVID happened and we never got the chance to do it. The plan was, I drove this with an SR20, fell in love. And uh, I was like, Darren, we need to put an LS. LS, dog box, quick change, back home. I built a simple LS2, because I didn't think it needed that much power, because I wanted to keep the 15s. It's running on what you call the uh, NASCAR engine mouse. Mm -hmm. He's running, this is an interesting way. I've done so many LSs, I've never done the four dash 12s into a dash 16 kind of thing. 
but surprisingly it works. And you know Darren, he's all about the function. He did those uh, Naka ducks straight into the spark plug area. Uh, the the keep LS, it kind of yeah, cool. LSs are notorious for them. Got it. Um, Got it. And it's, it's running uh, a McPherson, I think, S13 rack on it. Yeah, it is a S13 rack. And the rear end is, um, they switch it to an IRS. And it's out of, uh, also a Sylvia. So the thing drives, it drives like a dream, to be honest. If we go in the back, let's see. Sylvia. Um, yeah. Now you can actually adjust camera. Oh, there's so much. We just, yeah. And that's why so much grip in the wet and the dry. And the thing boogie. Only thing while he was building it, I was like, Dan, I want, three-quarter in window, window. So the way he designed it, he left this, so when we pop the trunk, it can service all the radiator, all the fluids and everything. Or on the other side, you see why he has the, uh, he has, it's a very cool trick he did to uh, to like, to re power the batteries. Oh, These got windows it. come off, on and off, and uh, then you can just charge the batteries if the car's dead. This is such a good looking <laughs> car, though. Thank I you, love man. it. And the funny thing to me is, this could not be any more different yeah. than your Porsche. <laughs> like, this is your competition car. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just so cool. So then I noticed both of them are left-hand drives. Was this a left-hand drive vehicle? So the only reason was there was a, a left-hand drive scrap car in Ireland. So we took everything off from that one. No one wants the pedals or anything. So they took everything off that car and they put it on this one. It was originally a right hand. They switched it to left. And that's how they got the, the dashboard to make a mold out of it. So I was lucky. That was. The... No. I. I'm just. Which. Which. Knock knock. Who's there? Uh, I know you gotta get to competition. Just wanted to thank you. For... <laughs> that guy's crazy. <laughs> I know you need to get to competition. No, uh, so thank you so much for showing you this. Thank you for your time. I was, and thank you for coming here. Finally, I'm at an event. I gotta say thank you for chasing us. Not only me, everyone, because we see a lot of the stuff online. And I want to thank you for coming here and actually giving us some of the experience that we see only on YouTube or Instagram. Thank you, Larry, for coming. That's yeah, no, I gotta I'm say. glad. And it, for me, it's like it's fun for me to play like Monster Energy Driver Bingo. Like I want to be able to photograph all of them. You know? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. There's, I mean, there's not that many of you, yeah. but um, it's it's just cool from yeah. all different countries. You guys are representing this brand cool. that I've been photographing for so long. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's it's really cool. And plus, man, this thing is just so good looking. Thank you so and much. And I'm so that. glad that you did. <laughs> didn't go off, hit any tires or no, anything that ruined the body. It's such a nice not looking yet. vehicle. One more about I think Kevin Quinn is a bit rough, so we're gonna, I think we're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna send it back with some white paint, I think. We'll okay. see how it goes. Hey, thanks for watching. If you wanna support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.